Hey guys, the Minister of Works, David Tomai, has shared his thoughts on the reason the Southeast will not protest against President Bola Tinubu's administration, despite the economic hardship in the country. Umai, Umai has said that Tinubu has resolved the incidents, the farmers, as stroke uh, headers clashes in the region. So he stated this while addressing newsmen at the Uburu hometown in Orazara, local government area of Ibuin State. According to him, the clashes contributed to the insecurity in the area and affected food production, leading to hunger in the land. The minister all argued that the high cost of living was a ripple effect from the past administration's actions and inactions. He, however, explained that the president had started resolving the situation. The minister said Tunubu's administration has favored the Southeast greatly through appointments to key positions, including himself, the first minister of works from the Southeast. He said the administration has been doing many projects in the region, adding that with all this, the Southeast has no moral justification to join those protesting against the president over the high cost of living in in the land. Una they hear so. So una when they, they talk say una no go protest. Una they say and now say these politicians they use una they shine. You understand? They don't they use una they shine now. Una no go protest against President Bola McTinnable's administration you know because you you people foresaw what happened and now it's happening and everything that happened now politicians are now using southeasterners to shine that is the truth because they are saying they are not protesting umayi is not coming to tell us this you you and your family benefited from the government so don't make it look like it's every household or everybody in the southeast what does it what I don't even understand this uh Fulani Hesmen and farmer clashes present Bola Mexico stopped. We understand what happened between them and IPOB members and everything that happened in the southeast. You understand? So coming out to blame President Mamad Wari administration here yeah, is really, really very unfair because. Umai is also part of the President Bola, uh, uh, President Muhammad Buhari's administration. When they see these people now, say they not get anything to offer. You anywhere when they feel say the breeze carry them go, they go go there. You know, they they wing it. You can imagine saying that President uh, Bola Metinubu inherited what is happening now from the past administration. I'm not saying. He did not hear it all. But what I'm, why I'm saying this is because he's one of them. He's one of them. He was in that government. He's still here. The same government. You can imagine how the story for B. Say Muhammad Buhari government, now different party, just like what happened when Muhammad Buhari assumed office, when he took power from PDP. We not hear what for good eight years. They left what they're supposed to do. They were busy blaming good luck. Jonathan's regime, what did they do? What did they not feel do? And they could not even do to what Jonathan did. They have started again. It's very shameful. I love what is going on now. APC is now blaming themselves. This one was a governor when uh, President Muhammad Buhari was there. Now, he don't they say this one now, now he be the best. Because that one don't come off for office. People are just doing whatever they are doing because of their selfish interests. Yes, what they want to benefit and what they will benefit. Do they really care for the masses? Do they really care for the masses? So can we really say that there is no longer insecurity in the southeast? Fulani herdsmen, those bandits there, they have stopped killing people. They have stopped grabbing people's land. They have stopped chasing people from their farmland and everything that is going on in the southeast. Is that what uh, the former governor of Eboin State is trying to tell us? According to him, he said the present hunger that everybody is talking about 
did not start today. Okay, even if it did not start today, how can you compare Muhammad Buhari hunger with Tunubu's hunger? Then they're different now. The hunger in Tunubu's own and the hunger in uh, Muhammad Buhari's uh, time is different. It is built up to a number of factors. Now they talk now. Before the past administration and the present administration, it won't end that now. It wants to connect with Lord Jonathan, enter inside. We had been having a build-up of insecurity. We had farmers, headers, clashes over a number of years. At the time, I was the chairman of ENEC committee on resolving farmers, headers, clashes. So I went through a number of states, especially the northern states, settling the farmers, headers, clashes, and it yielded a number of fruits. The problem dead a huge blow to food production, the issue of kidnapping and the issue of insecurity prevented farmers from going to their farms because here yeah, we are talking about hunger. And so you expect the administration of President Tunubu to fix all these things within nine months. It is not possible. It is a accumulative effect of the past. Like I have mentioned, we should be asking ourselves, how do we solve these problems? That is what the president has started doing. When something has got to the climbers, you don't expect to resolve it overnight. If you check very well, especially in the southeast, you will know that we no longer have incessant farmers, stroke headers, clashes. So why should we join the protest when the president has resolved our major problems? The problem we, we now have in the Southeast is self-inflicted. That is the issue of unknown, but known gunmen. So if we are protesting, we are protesting. Who are we protesting against? We are protesting against President Tinubu that has, that has solved headers, farmers, clashes. If you remove the issue of unknown gunmen, the Southeast will be completely safe. And farmers can work, so we can't go and join anybody to protest. He won't take over the matter now. He don't they boast about it. Imagine, so Southeasterners, they are not buying, uh, they are not going to the markets, Abby. The current situation in the country is not affecting them. They don't go to the market. He said Igbos cannot protest against President Bola Metunubu's uh, government because President Tunubu have resolved the problem of Igbo people. I beg, make a drop up for you. I want to take see this one now. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. If you're just joining us for the first time, I beg, subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on.